what we got. One and two. Only one came with some bolts. Look like a gasket. You gotta get it separately. A few moments later. It's raining and I'm tinted and I'm not phased. That O2 sensor right there. See how to get it off with the special tool. Now that's eight on each side. It took me about maybe about two hours to get them out, man. This is what I used. Um, use a swivel 13, uh, 11 millimeter, that's 11, and my ratchet. That was it. My ratchet. And I also used this for most of them. I only used this one on show you okay so it's one right here in front of the o2 sensor and then it's one in back of it now i didn't take out the o2 sensor because this was in the way and i didn't feel like taking that off i decided to use that swivel instead of take out the o2 sensor and that worked out Under it, we got this skid plate. Take out these bolts here. Get all them out and remove the cover. All right, that skid plate off. See how much it's leaking, man. So much. That's the oil pan gasket. I'm supposed to be replacing that, but um, I'm gonna hold off until they're ready. We're knocking out this expensive ass catalytic converter, two of them. So, so when we get all the bolts out, we got this little bracket right here, and uh, as you can see, I can loosen it, I jiggle in, I can pull it out. I had to take out them um, O2 sensors, bank two. Um, might have to pull this off here so I can drop this exhaust a little lower to remove these. Back here is where I remove this. This bolt here is an E8 external bolt. And now I can move that so I can 
pull the front two cats away from the rear exhaust. So this front one, what I noticed, I wasn't able to just pull it right out because this motor mount, that motor mount right here, it's in the way and it won't let it come out because it's got a hump right here, this little dip or whatever. So I had to, what I did was took out one, two, three, that other bolt on the other side, I loosened it up. I didn't take it all the way out for the motor mount. Jacked it up and was able to make some room. And now, let's see, should be able to hold on now. And you can see that hump right there, man. This hump won't let you get it out because it sits down in here like that so when you pull it out it's like coming down but you I was able to move it that way but I couldn't get it out because it turned up on the first on the uh, top part and it got stuck so I had to loosen loosen this up man So I got both of them in there. But what you want to do is leave them loose. Leave them loose, both of them. So you can get these bolts and finger tight. Finger tight those bolts before you use the ratchet and tighten it down. You want them level so they don't, you know, go in sideways or leave uh gap or something like that and you think you tighten it down okay so make sure when you put them in you put the front in first then the rear second and then go from there and start bolting everything back down all right this all two sets in basically Next here, you take it off and it's connected up here. Easy. That's the connector. So you just pry it on out. You pry it up. It's flat head. Get it out. Go two sets it in. The next day. <laughs> 